In Texas, it's a day of dueling border visits. Both President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump traveled to the U.S.-Mexico border today as immigration remains a key issue in the 2024 presidential race. The trips come as the White House considers new restrictions on border asylum claims, and the former president returns to a theme which helped propel his 2016 campaign. Mike Valerio explains. Nice weather, beautiful day. But a very dangerous border. We're going to take care of it. In a remarkable moment, a current and former president visited different sectors of the U.S. southern border on Thursday, highlighting a central issue of the 2024 presidential race, border security and surges of migration. Instead of playing politics with the issue, why don't we just get together and get it done? Let's remember who the heck we work for. We work for the American people, not the Democratic Party, the Republican Party. We work for the American people. And let's remember who we are. We're the United States of America. Former President Donald Trump traveled to Eagle Pass, a flashpoint in the border security standoff between Texas and the federal government. It's where Republican Governor Greg Abbott had the National Guard install razor wire and physical barriers, bypassing federal authority. The United States is being overrun by the Biden migrant crime. It's a new form of a vicious violation to our country. Trump has made Biden's handling of illegal immigration a centerpiece of his reelection effort. Yet after Republicans tanked a bipartisan border deal in early February, largely due to opposition from Trump, the Biden campaign has a potential new angle. What House Republicans have done is nothing, absolutely nothing. If anything, uh, they consistently get in the way. Biden's Brownsville visit comes as he considers new executive action to restrict migrants' ability to seek asylum at the southern border if they crossed illegally. The action under consideration appears to be an extension of some of the toughest measures in the failed border bill. I'm Mike Valerio reporting.